I, I've been very fortunate to be in Nicholas's life. You know, his mother and his Sav, they taught him the ways of the world. They taught him to be kind. They, they taught him to be caring. I'm extremely proud of him. Hammy transferred from South Alabama to UAB and his life turns it, you know, he met Callie. I honestly believe that Nicholas has grown into the young man he is today and I know he loves Kylie deeply and will be the wonderful husband for Kylie. freshman year, Kylie, but I just remember looking at her and going, oh my god, like, there's no way, like, who is she, who am I going to find that, like, I approve for her, that is, like, totally okay, who can take care of her. And I was like, nobody's going to be good enough for this woman. And then you text me one day and you're like, I have met this man, and I'm like, not good enough, that's cool, don't know his name, like, not a fan. I'm like, I hate him, and you're like, his name's Nick, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, that's fine. And I met him and I just saw you glow and you were so happy and that is all I cared about. I just want you to be happy. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't want to cry but I love her with all my heart and I truly mean that. So beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> I like you. You're nice. <laughs> Thank you. Mountains in my mind. I, Nick, take you, Kylie, to be my wife. I, Kylie, take you, Nick, to be my husband. My constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family, and friend, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, to, to cherish you, you for as long as we both shall live. And now may the God of peace prosper and bless your new relationship. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ abound unto you now and forevermore. Amen. Nick, you may kiss your lovely bride. Seeing everybody walk in, it was like, this is like a culmination of the past like, year of planning and these past months of stress and just love and seeing people who like are truly happy to see you and these are like your biggest cheerleaders. Yeah, it's very rare to get all of your favorite people in the same place at once. And who support you so much yeah. and it was like it meant the world to me to just, I started crying. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it was like, I, I just kept thinking about that. I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. May you be poor in misfortune. May you be rich in blessings. May you be slow to make enemies, quick to make friends, but rich or poor, slow or quick. You know, we wish nothing but happiness to Kylie and Nick. For a friend, so she said, I saw blackberry birds in a blue pale sky and I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay, I can't even speak now because I'm crying already. Um, I'm so proud. <laughs> proud of you. 
And uh, if I would have been able to handpick somebody for you, I could have done as good as you did. And so we had our black forest wedding, carved our names into the woods. She held my hand and took all of my sorrows and buried all my bad moods. I saw blackberry birds in a blue pen. Hey Nick, hey Kylie, um, just congratulations on your wedding. Um, I just wanted to let you know I love you both and I'm so happy for both of you. And um, I hope everything goes smooth and you have a great honeymoon and you just enjoy your marriage. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm And Kylie, um, I've never met two people who have been like more perfect for each other. Um, I just want to say like congratulations on your marriage. I hope that you guys go through this marriage laughing together, eating together, and just having the best time together. <laughs>